Okay students, we're going to talk about how to uh, do permutations and combination functions on the graphers, especially, particularly the 83's and 84's. Um, let's say that we've got 15 things total. A great example to go to in the notes for this is on page 42. So let's suppose that we have 15 things total and we wanted to do a permutation because order matters. We wanted to select three um, but order matters so it would be a permutation. You want to enter the in value, the total, 15. Then you want to find your math key, which is below the alpha key. Select that. Now you'll notice it brings up all of these wonderful options. Let's scroll over with our arrow keys to PRB, which means probability and statistics. Let's scroll down to NPR, which stands for in permutation R hit enter. It's prompting you for your R. How many do you want to select? How many do you want to permutate? Well, let's do three, just like on our example on page 42. Hit enter. And the answer is there are 2,730 different ways to um, select three people out of 15 when the order actually matters. So let's suppose that now we're going to do order doesn't matter, we just want combinations. So we would do 15, again, that's our in. We would go to math, scroll over to PRB, and this time we would select NCR for combination. Hit that, it's saying, how many do you want to choose? Well, let's choose three. And there are 455 different ways to choose uh, three sets out of 15 when order does not matter. The order of the three has has no effect at all. Okay, and that's your permutation and your combination keys.